Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. I'm Krigo and we are here in our private apartment that we did get as a present from Anderson. But we have to do some R&R, so let's get going, boys. Invite Specialist Trainer. Sure, let's see what he wants from us. I like this DLC, though. It gets you a little bit closer to your companions. You sure you want to leave that here? I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I have nowhere to put it. This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Cheers! Oh, this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats and public speaking. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach too and an inhaler for asthma. Yeah, man, steam, hot steam is so good for the nostrils though, right? You have everything you need to stay healthy? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. Sucro capsule. That's a sugar pill trainer. A placebo. Oh, that sneaky bastard. And now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah. This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has a... Found one! Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and... You know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. Alright, Anderson, huh? My, 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 you sneaky bastard. She's gone. Well, it's good for her that she also had a hot tub experience, right? Before we are going totally to war. And by the way, YouTube, that was a bikini. Nothing bad about it, right? You know. Now, let's see. There we go. Invite Liara. is the only song I know. Why's that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> Could you? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. By just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? I suppose how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis. I am a good teacher. <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. Yeah, you know, 
I, I really like Liara, but that's also partly because, well, her character is just awesome. But the thing, though, is, is that there's so much dialogue with her compared to, let's say, well, we are dating Telly right, you know, compared to Telly right now. Uh, take a break, Liara. You can work here. That's true, too. Hmm. You're free to use the apartment. Thank you, Shepard. I think I will. I mean, that's a massive present to write some quiet time. She can do whatever she wants. This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your report so that you might work here? Do yes. it. Thank you, Glyph. Come on, Gr uh, Glyph. Oh, he's playing the melody. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. There you go. All right. Glyph. Can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? Certainly, Dr. Tassoni. This is very nice, though. I'm very happy for her. And to be honest, because of the extra, extra thousands of dialogues... Okay, that's a little bit extreme, though. But because of the extra dialogues, I really like to have her around, you know? Like, maybe I made a mistake or something with Tally. Although I do like Tally very much, Shepherd. though doesn't spy on us non-stop you know what i mean <laughs> all right so we want to deliver quite a lot of items right here and there and we have now a priority mission in runoff and we have a couple of other ones too but first we want to go around here and see what we can do by the way right and by that i mean we picked up certain items and i'm not sure where i have to deliver all of them though so Let's just walk around, shall we? And let's just find out. Oh, soldier. Thank you again, Commander. Okay, I you're welcome, big boy. I thought it was something new there. Wait a minute, is that us? Kind of looks like us, though, huh? Oh, we got a message terminal here right now that is active, which is awesome. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time. But I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Alright, I mean, that's something, right? Commendation Captain Riley. Captain Riley, an N7 operative, has been nominated for Commendation for Valor uh, 4. Her actions at Sion. Approval from a Spectreworld Fast Track the award process. Of course, man, we don't have time. First, Irun financial report. This financial report is for top level embassy access only. According to financial institutions from First Irun Investment Trust, a division of Elcos combine the Citadel races cannot sustain the cost of the war effort for more than one year. Although military spending, everybody has to do it for free, man, you know. Later on, we can figure out things, right, you know. Because... Ah, I'm not going to fight in the war because I might die. You know, I'm not going to feed all those people because I might die. 
You know, you're dead anyways, right? Nothing matters then. Although military spending has uh, simul uh, stimulated certain market sectors, shortages and ra uh, rationing in other areas have depressed the financial system. Civilian discretionary spending has fallen except in entertainment areas like escape is fit and drinking. Viserun is borrowing heavily to provide funds for key functions across the citadel, but if the war does not end within the next year, Galactic Financial Collapse is inevitable. That's alright, you know, that's alright, everybody dies. Um, so you just fight for free, you feed people for free, you work for free. You know, everybody gets what they need in the massive times of war, because in the end, you lose everything or you get everything, right, you know? Cortez, my Are big boy. Okay? I've just been standing here, holding this for I don't know how long. He'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one can take that away. I really feel for the big guy though, but he, he just pushed this so hardcore. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. Goodbye, Robert. Let's just support him. I mean, you know, feelings are feelings. Love is love. And everybody needs support, right? You know, especially if we lost someone that we cared about. I, I do like that. That is what I really believe in, though. But my God, they are pushing that right there. Like, how many people did we meet? Companions too that lost people, right? Still waiting, I see. And it's not like 30, 40 hours in or something like we still have to support them with it. Ah, there he is again. I know, I know. Yeah. You don't have to say anything, but I'm about to make my comeback. Really, huh? Yeah, I'll take that. I feel for Cortez though, right, you know? It's a situation we're all in, to be honest, right now. Look at all the people over here, right, you know? It says a lot about the state that we are in, in the warfare. Now arriving at Puerta Memorial Hospital. We tried to run again, but we were blocked. And the farm girl? Wow, okay. Her leg was broken, bleeding bad. I knocked down a wall in a barn with a big warp field. So proud of that and we hid they must have searched for you i'm gonna sorry huntress no damn husk is gonna find me unless i let it but the farm girl who was with you her leg was broken she was whimpering and in the eye roll. i saw her through a hole in the woods she was coming closer with those dead black eyes and hillary the farm girl she couldn't stop crying they were gonna hear what did you do what do you think yeah. Ay, 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 ay. In a situation like that, it's understandable. That's, that's sadly, and God thanks, no murder, right? Something else? I should I'm go. Glad we had time to Me too. And Shepard. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. We already had this after all. But yeah, you know, like, oh, that's a matter of pure survival, though. A matter of pure survival. Poor girl, though. Poor, poor girl. Dr. Silon, I came across finally. this treatment plant at a chemical plant. Could it help? Treatment? What is... I've never seen this kind of process before. Huh. Probably experimental. It's a long shot, but let's run some tests and see if it might work for our patient. Chemical burns delivered. Nice. Do we still have the dinosaur thing, right? The fossil. Here we are. Yes, General Corellius should make a full recovery. He's already awake and responsive. Oh, that's very nice, though. Very nice. It was with the Turian toxin. There has to be oh, what is this? For us to get more medical supplies. I told you already, we have nothing to spare. We're willing to pay. It's not about payment. Between the war on Palavan and the coup attempt here, supplies are short. If my people don't get more antibiotics and metagel, thousands of us will die. 
Then maybe you picked a bad time to start a war with the Gath. Very there true, has though. To be some way for us to get more medical supplies. I told you already. But of course, you know we are in this all together. We're willing to pay. So you know. Tally saved the Citadel a couple of years ago. Watch your tone. You're right. We're all on edge right now, but we don't have enough metagel for our own needs. We can't help your people right now. I'm sorry. Damn it. Thank you for trying to help. You're welcome, though. Let's not forget uh, Sovereign, right? You know, with the Reaper attack. And yeah, it's good that he uh, has to show respect, of course, to her. She earned it. It seems like I cannot find a couple of these guys, right? So, yeah. Let's go explore the galaxy once again. Trying to pick up certain items, right? You know, it would be fun. If we cannot find anything, then we cannot find anything. You know what I mean? One moment, please. Let's have a little conversation with everybody here. Right now. Commander. Maximum dynamic pressure is approaching. Throttle down for minimal resistance. Yay! Very cool, though. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> He's not certain if it's cool or whatever. But anyways... We have to go to talk to someone here, uh, at least, or Geoman said. I uh, did not read which one, so let's have a conversation with everybody. Let's just start with the shuttle bay, right? James, my boy, huh? I just you and Ashley now? I really just do not get it. Ready when you are. All right. Always massive input with that one. Cortez? Shepard, thanks again for being there at the refugee memorial. I feel bad. Commander, you flew that Geth fighter out of the Dreadnought? Actually, Legion did the piloting. I was stuck in a storage compartment with my squad. Would have loved more time with that ship. Too bad we sent it to hack its team so quickly. It sounded like quite an ordeal getting that Turian reactor up and running. I've been through worse. Well, thank you. Sir. Yeah, okay, well, that's that. I like, uh, you know, like he's so into the ships and everything that he wants to dissect them a little bit. Learn from it. Always a good thing to do. I mean, you know, as an engineer, right, you know. How do you see with only two eyes? Evolution has taken a strange turn in this cycle. Your Joker pilot insists I call myself Prothe the Prothean. I insisted he allow me to throw him out the airlock. Prothe the Prothean. Very funny, Joker. Commander. Ah, <laughs> oh, typical Joker, right? You know. <laughs> yeah. What are you two talking about now? Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Okay. Here we are. Commander. Come on. Commander. Ah, come on. We barely have interviews with her, and look what a massive room she has, though, to do her job. And she barely uses the opportunity to talk with us. Look how many things we are actually doing here and there, right? You know? It does not make any sense, by the way. It does not make sense, right? She takes up way too much space for doing for what she's doing. Ashley. A little busy right now. Yeah, why are you not going to James, by the way? I thought you two uh ah, It was just for the lulls of it, right? Liara? I'm occupied, Shepard. I know. On our spaceship, though, he's a little bit on the moody side, is he not? But anywhere else, he's all lovey-dovey, you know? It's interesting and weird. Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? 
I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both? Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me, everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If all life in the galaxy vanishes because we hesitate, what choice do we have? <sighs> this is going to be a rough war. Yeah, it really will be a very rough war, though. I will hate to choose between 10 and 20 billion, though. But if it is a matter of difference, right, you know, we have to make it. Not right now. This is a matter of survival for all. And I keep saying it, but it's the damn sad truth. Shakwas, you're not in the hospital. What's going on here? How are you, Commander? How are you? How are you, Commander? How are you? Good to see you, Commander. Good to see you too, Adams. Well, apparently there's not much that we can do, so maybe we should just go to do the priority mission. But first the two other ones on the same planet, and I think that might be the cause of or advance, right? And then new planets might show up here and there. We might see about it. We will probably see about it, but let's go to Renault. Right over here we are. This is the... Which one is actually the hmm Korean escape pod and get com hub? Huh. Yeah, we, we we better check out the right now which one is the priority and which one is not actually. We have here runoff. Get fighters. Yes. Priority runoff. Admiral Koreas and Get Fighter Squadron. The GEF remain under Reaper control, thanks to, uh, to a base located somewhere on the surface of Ranok. Continue to have the current fleet. Ah, okay. So if I have the GEF attack until the Reaper base can be located. So we have to do these two. Okay, that makes sense. Shut down GET server or save the Admiral? Probably save the Admiral first, uh, I, I suppose. And here we are, boys. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zan. Have you reached Selkoris' escape pod? Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Selkoris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Searching for their lost Admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the Admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. They'll be torn to pieces. Naturally, but the civilian captains have deluded themselves into thinking they can reach the mass relay in time. Hopefully Chorus can stop the fools from presenting the Geth with such easy targets. The Geth have dug in down there. I might not bring back good news. It was always a possibility. There will be no blame if you come back empty-handed, Commander. I'm getting some static. It appears Elcor has crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it to contact you. Zen? Admiral Zen? I'm afraid I cannot reconnect. The signal is too weak. Looks like we're on our own. Take us into the tower. Taking fire.
Geth installed anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. That's a good boy, though. Let's keep going. For centuries. To be standing here in the land of my ancestors. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine, though? Shepard, once we find the Admiral, I advise we... I we... Eating? What's wrong? The jamming signal is strong closer to the tower. I am experiencing signal loss with my systems on the Normandy. Could it be lag from your new body? It is unlikely, Tally. Lag usually lasts no longer than 5.2 milliseconds. Okay, wow. Um, interesting. But can you imagine though, right? You know, like being in Tally's shoes right now. After, let's say, a lifetime, you can finally go home. That is so sad at the same time, isn't it? And it's so glorious to actually be back home. I love it for her. And I do love the desert style, though. Are you injured? Nah, we are fine, though. I'm okay. Watch out for more mines. Why won't we? All right. I mean, mines are there to be stepped on, right? So why would we disappoint? Why would we disappoint? I mean, that's pure logic, right? Isn't it? Wow, I mean, this is kind of cool though, right? To see them just being hiding somewhere. Yeah, this is going to be so difficult for... For the uh, Koreans, you know, to, to take back uh, their, their homeworld. It wasn't for us. Okay, this is very bad though. And did you hear that? The uh, AA is shooting again. But against what though, I wonder? Come on, show up. Peekaboo. Nice. Very nice. Down you go. Hmm. Yeah. Hurry up. Oh, what a shame though, man. I thought we could at least damage it a little bit with that. But no, it's just, just armor or nothing. Which is very interesting though. I thought it would be at least some hustle, I'd say, right, you know? Some technology in it. One of us must shut down the anti-aircraft guns, Shepard. Well, it is Tally's homeworld, though. Tally, you take the guns. No problem. Edie will be way quicker, but that's okay. They're yet dropping in. Never a disappointment here. Whoppa, come on, come on. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's some Reaper gets right there. Interesting. Finally, we can do something here. Somehow I could not cast before. Maybe because of the Reaper, you know, blocking certain attacks. Nice. Off to the next one. Let's get a little bit closer here. Nice, beautiful. There's another one moving right in front of us, right there. Nice. That's it, huh? That's it indeed. Hmm. Ah, here it is, here it is. Assault rifle magazine upgrade, always nice. Some experience, always beautiful. It reminds me of Fallout New Vegas here, you know what I mean? Some uh, Nevada and Arizona desert. Lovely. Shotgun shredder mod. Do you hear that? Like, there's still some movement there. And then a uh, wounded courier here, of course. But you, the movement was kind of weird. Like a spider bot. My message. Send out a distress call. Radios are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorm hats. I... Uh, uh, I clean engine parts. This place is filled with geth. You should have hidden them. I saw I could buy 
the other civilians die, fight some death. There were so many. First time I've even held a gun. Don't move. We've got Major Joe. Oh, I've lost too much blood. Go. Look for the Admiral. Destroy that jamming tower, and you can radio him. We'll find him, Dor. I promise. Please. Listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Gorus can get us out alive. And my son. Tell him. Tell Jonah that his father made it to the home world. We will. Rest well, Dornhast Vasrenok. Let's get to that tower. Oh boy. There is something crawling around. But I'm happy for him that he's actually, you know, um, here in his home world, you know? Do we hear that? Like, there's absolutely something weird around here. Anyways, let's go. I cannot find it right now. Another MS, uh, for SMG upgrade to disable the AAs. The Anonymous Alcoholics. Yeah! Let's invest in some alcoholic stocks, right, you know, and then uh, disable the AA. Yep, 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 yep. Even for me, I almost died right now. I mean, and I have tons and tons of beautiful stuff here. Tons of shields, in other words. Alright, let's go. A little bit further, I might say. Naughty boy. There you go. Everybody fine around here? Maybe not. Oh, no. I mean, you know, like everybody will be dead and will be a free respawn. You know how it goes, right? You know how it goes. Of course. It's a beautiful location, man. I mean, it's a beautiful planet in general. And the A of uh, the AI, right? The GAFs, the they have interesting technology. Interesting design. ED this time. Affirmative. You should be able to operate a bacon geth turret yourself, Shepard. <laughs> Maybe so, huh? Morgan! All right. Don't worry about the time, though. Reload, come on. Yeah, finally. Big boy. Big prime boy. Nice. Down he goes. Oh no! Not by the door! Not the way I was going! Hmm, interesting. What type of armor part do we have here? Armor Max! Nice. Chest plate. I believe this one is for extra weapon damage, right? I think so. That was ED, by the way. Who should disable the gun, Shepard? Yeah, you, Tally. I want you on this, Tally. Right. There they are. Almost done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your time. Don't you worry about it. Kind of funny that he barely sent any reinforcements, you know what I mean? I expected a little bit more from him. Hmm. Oh, way too low. It's so weird, man. Now we have to single, uh, you know, like, 
Okay, now we can hold it again. First, if we try to hold it, it was only doing a single shot. And out of nowhere, we're doing more than one. That's kind of weird. took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. Oh my, Vietnam flashbacks right here. Get some! Get some! Get some! I don't see shit though, but get some! Oh yeah. Whoever is walking and running is a Fiat Kong. Member. Whoever stands still Get is a well disciplined Fiat Kong member. That's what was in the movie, right? Hey, well, I wanted to. Damn it. Okay, the flashlight is really absurd, man. You know, the flash uh, shots. Okay, very nice, very nice. They are among the first after 300 years of exile, right? Commander, unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back? Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. At Victorium, big boy. Commander, we've located the Reaper base, transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Ripper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to creator forces. You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. 
We do not agree with the goals of the old machines, but we find this growth beautiful, indicative of life. I kind of agree with it though, right, you know? It is. Commander. Come on, Admiral. That's a living creature, no matter what platform it's running on. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. I don't want to destroy them, though. Maybe they don't have to die. Just because this one appears friendly. Well, it hasn't fired on a ship with me aboard it. Commander, are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is, maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified. And they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes, it should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way? The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? That Geth fighter squadron is still tearing through the fleet. Can you hold out? If that fighter squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. I gave well, your reckless behavior before. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So pull them back. If I withdraw now, the Geth will flank us and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. I gave in to your reckless behavior before. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. Yeah, repairs is important. Then, Admiral Garrel is right. Withdrawing now puts the whole fleet at risk. As you say, Commander. All right, Han. You've got your ships. Thank you, Ram. You'll get them back in good condition. Gordon, have you fleet? War is it updated. The thing though is right. If if the nukes drop and we fight with sticks and stones again, right, you know, remember, casualties are the highest once you're retreating. That is not a joke. That is the sad truth of war back then and even now. Now we got the Alliance First Fleet under our wings, Rogue Fighter Pilots, very cool, and that's that. Then the Crucible is also getting bigger and bigger, right, you know? Hmm, 6k, not bad. Advanced power relays, haptic optic uh, array, not bad. Turian forces are also upgrading each time, it seems. With the Turian Spec Ops team, not bad. And the Turians, of the, the Kordians, I mean, Admiral Zal Kordis. Not bad either. But by that, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys then. Stay happy, stay healthy, and don't forget to subscribe though. Bye bye.